the King of glory, the all-knowing, the all-wise God, the helper of all men needing no help, the one who is completely complete in himself. You are God <coughs> all by yourself and there is not like you. Thank you for the entrance of your word that gives light and gives understanding to the simple. Our heart, our spirit, and our soul is submitting to you tonight. And we ask, Lord, that you speak to us, that you minister to our spirit. Lord, help us to behold the wondrous things out of your law. Show us, Lord, the way of life. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Put your hands together for the Lord. Give him all the praise. Come and celebrate him. Hallelujah. <clears throat> praise the Lord. You may please take your seat. We serve a good God. Hallelujah. And the Bible calls him the father of life. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, God is good to me. Say to me, and I know this. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. God is good to me to me. Praise the Lord. God is good to me. Hallelujah. Is a good God. Is a good God. Praise the Lord. It's been a great month. Praise the Lord. God's word came expressly to us. Can you make this stage a little bit sharp, please? And Bible said God had a plan for you and I. When God declared the month as a month of forceful advancement. It is an advancement <clears throat> beyond the ordinary. Hallelujah. Yes. An advancement beyond man's reasoning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, an advancement with the intention of God. Amen. Thank you. An advancement with the intention of God. You are running a race with the intention of God. With his plans. With his agenda. Amen. Amen. With his agenda. So you are on a divine course. You are not running with the tablet of man, but you are running with heaven's plans. Hallelujah. Amen. And we have considered you and your advancement. And on Sunday we saw the beginning of a new series, The Divine Keys for Forceful Advancement. Whatever you see working is working because it has a system running. Anything you see working is working because it has a system running. Hallelujah. So everything that must work where must work because there is a structure in place. There is a system, a conscious one. Hallelujah. And we saw from Sunday that one of the systems that you need is first discovery of purpose. If you don't know what this microphone is for, you will use it as a toy. And then we said that you must also stay in purpose if you have discovered purpose. You stay in it. Don't ever eye another man's garden. Don't. 
God is rich in all. Are you following me right now? He said to you and I, he said, Thy gates shall be open continually and it shall not be shut. Not their gate, your gate. So you've got, you've got on you a responsibility to identify your gates. And then you tell God, my gates, my gate of breakthrough, my gate of family liberty, my gate of dominion, my gate of victory shall be opened continually. It shall not be shut. So in other words, I have an understanding that there, is, there are no forces in heaven on heart or beneath the heart that is strong enough to hinder your gates. And then we saw also that you need the winning spirit. And then I'm going to continue tonight. Praise the Lord. Thank you Lord Jesus. Number four. Keys to forceful advancement. You need wisdom. You need wisdom. To have wisdom <clears throat> is to have Christ. Take note of that. And when we're talking about wisdom, we're not talking about common sense. We're talking about something beyond that. We're talking about that which comes from above. The inspiration of God in a man. The deposit of God at work in a man. A force propelled by a deep fellowship with God. That's what wisdom is. So to have wisdom is to have Christ. If you can truly say that you have Christ, you follow the dictates of Christ, you listen to the instruction of Christ, you're a wise man. The Bible speaking in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 30, the AMPC. In the Amplified Version, it says, but trying to explain to us about this wisdom, but it is from him that you have your life in Christ. <laughs> and trying to explain it. Whom God made our wisdom from God. The one God made our wisdom from God. The Bible says, revealed to us as what? A knowledge of the divine plan of salvation. Previously hidden, manifesting itself as what? As a righteousness. Thus, making us upright and putting us in the right standing with God. Wisdom. Putting us in the right standing with God and our consecration. Making us pure and holy and our redemption. Providing our ransom from what? Eternal penalty from sin. <clears throat> Wisdom. Wisdom tells you when to move any leg. Wisdom. If you play the game of chess, you are conscious. You know that anything you move determine whether you are going forward or backward. There is a deliberate consciousness. And when there is deep thinking, wisdom is exp explained. Praise the Lord. Wisdom is displayed. So, what you need to advance, no matter the amount of money or wealth you have, without wisdom, you can't advance. A parent with wisdom, just by the wisdom of God, they start selling vegetables. And by the wisdom, wisdom of God is the input of God for productivity. Write it down. The wisdom of God is the input of God for productivity. If any man lack wisdom, the Bible says, let him ask of the Father who gives liberally. He gives it freely. 
You don't need money to keep a woman at home. If it's all money she needs, she will get it outside from any man. You need wisdom. Hallelujah. You need what? Wisdom. And you also need the wisdom of God to keep a man at home. Wisdom will tell you what a man is looking for is not your good food. Neither is it your good sex. What he's looking for is respect. No matter how you want to rob it, honor him by respecting him. Forceful advancement is a reality only by the wisdom of God. Wisdom tells you your boss might have a bad character, but wisdom tells you he is still what? Your boss. You don't need to like his look. You don't need to like his face. In fact, you might have finished praying audible prayer about him. But when you appear before him, wisdom tells you you have to be modest. And you have to be comely. You have to try to show to him that everything about you honors him. You need wisdom. So to have wisdom is to have Christ. And listen to this. Wisdom is better than all the things you may ever want in life. All the things. The riches, even the advancement you're looking for. Wisdom is better than it. And so, to have wisdom is to secure anything. To have wisdom is to secure anything. Proverbs chapter 8, the K KJV, the Bible was speaking in verse 11. It said, for wisdom is better than rubies. Hallelujah. And all the things you may ever desire. And uh, all the things, than all the things you may desire are not to be compared to it. All the things. Through wisdom, the Bible says, a house is built and by understanding, it is established. You must get wisdom. You must get wisdom. It is principle. We can't finish teaching on it. We can't finish teaching on it. We can't finish teaching on it. So when we talk about wisdom, it is not common sense. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Wisdom tells you what you are looking for is in the hand of the best. Take note of that. Wisdom tells you what you are looking for is in the hand of the best. <clears throat> in other words, humility is key to getting it. There is nothing new. There is no new breakthrough. There is no new advancement. What you are looking for is somebody's yesterday. And wisdom tells you that you must learn to humble yourself to move forward. Oh, you've seen yourself becoming one of the best data analysis. And wisdom tells you to bury your pride and learn no matter how young the person is. No matter how small the person is, or no matter how lousy the person is, as long as you need anything from any man, wisdom tells you humility is key. Get it? Are you following me right now? Age is useless. And you see this age thing has ruined plenty lives and destiny. That's why the white man will always be ahead of the black. If you get, if you get to Dallas today, and you go to the potter's house. Praise the Lord. If you come in there, the world knows Bishop Jakes as Bishop T.D. Jakes. But everybody in church address him as Brother Jakes. And then they say, oh, what, who are you looking for? I'm looking for Jesus. Oh, Brother Jakes is not around. Are you following me right now? But, you see, you address somebody now. A pastor, Reverend Doctor. And you just come in and say, Brother Victor. Can't you say Reverend Dr. Victor? Title 
has ruined the African community. Tied to is killing men. You can't advance. In fact, nobody advance because you are chivunweke. You advance as a result of your results. What you can command, what you can influence. Wisdom is key. Wisdom is principal. Wisdom will save you from debts. Wisdom will save you from foolishness. Wisdom will save you more money. He said the price of wisdom is far above rubies. The price of wisdom is far above rubies. The price, the price of wisdom. The price of wisdom. The price of wisdom. The price of wisdom. Imagine Moses having to question with God, what are we going to use to cross the Red Sea? Are you following me right now? Wisdom is knowing what to do. There is a rod in my hand. And when the Lord told him, stretch for the rod, another common sense will tell him, Lord, we need a canoe, not the rod. Are you following me? We need what? A canoe, not what? The rod. But wisdom tells you, you obey every divine instruction, even when it sounds foolishly. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It doesn't have to look like it. But wisdom tells you if God is the one leading you, follow it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 20. He who walks with the wise will be wise. But the companion of fool will be what? Will be destroyed. He who walks with the wise will be wise. The companion of fool will be what? Will be destroyed. If somebody is ahead of you doing well, wisdom tells you come and learn so that you can act like them. There are people who know how to seal deals. They collect contracts, but they don't know how to retain wealth. And wisdom tells you there's somebody who knows how to manage wealth well. Wisdom tells you you need a master class on how to manage money. Are you following me right now? Some don't know how to bring the money, but they know how to manage it. And wisdom also tells you you need to know how to acquire wealth. And you can upgrade yourself. Wisdom tells you the first profit of your life is not money, but learning. Write it down. The first profit of your life is not money, but learning. That's, that, that's, that's the greatest you can get. The best you can get. The best you can get. Each time I walk around IWC, I'm not seeing myself standing or preaching. Every time I'm walking, my head is thinking how to manage what is coming. Well, wisdom tells you, he said, a workman who needed not to be ashamed, but what? Rightly dividing the word of truth. He said, let him do what? Study. He said, study to show yourself. Approve. Study to show us that you are truly worthy of the advancement you are crying for. It is easy for believers to come to church. Lord, make me advance. Lord, I want to advance. But if you don't understand the rudiment, the basic foundation of what it takes to secure... You know, every time you cry for advancement, God says, I'm not just moving you forward. I want it to be a lifestyle. That everything in your life will be moving forward. Every aspect of your life will be moving forward. Wisdom is key. And it operates with right companies. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody say with me tonight. It's my night. Say tonight. 
is my night. Say it again tonight. It's my night. Say, Lord, I believe in the authority of your words. In Jesus' name. The Bible gave us an understanding in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 7. Media airports, the KJV. Proverbs 3 and verse 7. It said, do not be wise in your own eyes. Do not be wise. It said, fear the Lord and depart from evil. So wisdom tells you anything contrary to business ethics. Don't get involved with it. Anything contrary to advancement. You can't be asking for advancement and then you'll be violating the natural law of advancement. Are you following me right now? Let me explain that to you. You are very good sister. Very spiritual. Everything you do is prayer, 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 prayer. You pray about everything. But you are not prepared for everything. You pray about everything, but you are not prepared for everything. And you believe that when I enter the office and I enter the restroom and I speak in the Holy Ghost and I say, Mr. Okoro, Mr. Okoro, Mr. Okoro, in the name of Jesus, you will hear me. Okoro will not hear you. Okoro will only listen to excellence. Wisdom does not violate the rule of life. For you to move forward, Wisdom likes it when the children of God are well equipped. If you're not doing what you think you should do and you expect God, you know what the Bible says? It says, write the vision and make it plain. It says, so that the one who runs will run with it. He will see it and run with it. If you have not defined a future, there is nothing for God to run with. If you can't carve out your future, your life, your destiny, you can't get anything out of it. You say, God knows my problem. He will visit me. God stopped visiting long ago. That's why he says, you will speak to my hearing, I will hasten. In other words, God is no longer an intruder. The last time he intruded, it comes with a lot of questioning. So, now speak to my hearing. I will hasten to perform it. I will get involved. Just tell me what you want. Bible said, thou shalt have whatever you say, not what we say. That's why it says, a yes on heart. So, wisdom tells you, if you're not saying it, you're not seeing it. I have a future. That's number one. Heaven is waiting. What kind of future? And if you can't define it, the devil will make the kind of future he wants you to have. I have a future full of grace and glory. Wherever I go, I dip my feet in oil. The best of God is working for me. I fear no evil. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, everything working for me. Wisdom tells you you are what you say about yourself. Take note of that. You are what you say about yourself. And that's why Proverbs was speaking in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. It says, keep your heart with all, with all diligence, for out of it comes what? The issues of life. And so, wisdom tells me, if I don't guide my heart well, uh, amen, I've told you earlier, it is what you say that comes to you. Because that shall have what you say. So, wisdom tells you, our words create our future. Our words create our future. You look at your husband, you say, mumu. You say, mumu, eh? I said, do not say before an angel it was a joke. Don't say it casually. Instantly, heaven will see him. Do not say, I was only joking when I said my son is naughty. The day you will display naughtiness. 
you understand you have spoken it one day. You this useless child. You shall have whatsoever you say. Bless her. You look at your daughter. Bless her you among women. The grace and the glory of God is at work on you. Look at your son. Full of the fatness of heaven. The world stand to listen to you. Your words comes with honor and virtue. Wisdom tells you your words create your future. Your words create your future. Your words create your future. So the first prophet of your soul, of your life, is not your pastor. It's you. Thou shall have whatever you say. So no matter what the pastor is saying, if you say, Pastor, this is my problem, and you will understand, it's my problem. Even with all the prophecies and the anointing, nothing will take place in your life. Somebody say, Father, Father. I position my words in agreement with your words. Lord, I position my words in agreement with your words. I position my words in agreement with your words. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Number five. Tell me it's my night. I love this one. This one we bet is for me. Find someone whose faith can keep your faith. Keys to forceful advancement. Find someone whose faith can keep your faith. It is not everyone around you that wants you up. You must identify and you must understand also that for in everyone clapping, not every one of them is happy with your celebration. You must find someone whose faith can keep your faith. Know fully well that every mighty man have their weak days. Every great man have their down moment. You've got a duty on your shoulder to find someone whose faith can keep your faith. You must learn to ask yourself, write it down, Olufemi, who are you involved with? Who are your inner circle? Who strengthen you in business and in ministry? You must find someone whose faith can keep your faith. Exodus was speaking from Exodus chapter 14 in verses 10. Exodus 14 and verse 10. The Bible says, And when Pharaoh drew near, when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes. And the Bible says, What happened? And behold, the Egyptians marched after them. And they were what? So afraid. These were people that left with joy. They were so afraid. And the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. And something happened in verse 13. In verse 13, the Bible says, And Moses said to the people, You must find yourself in a company of someone who can help you keep your faith. Moses said to the people, Fear ye not. Stand ye still. But if you find yourself in the company of men, who can see beyond you? That's why you see that it's not that your friend who suddenly become rich that is not picking up your call. It's not because it's because he has touched money. No. It's because his level has changed. His thinking has changed. He can no longer he can, he can, he can only be reaching out to you if your understanding is still a little above his. He wants somebody who will help him who will, who will be at the same level to operate it's a new level. He has changed level. If not, if he stay long at 
below. In a short while, it will come back. That's why you will never see the eagle trying to fly with chicken. You must locate or find someone whose faith can keep your faith. Forceful advancement. There are people who are better than you. There are people who know it better. Never you think you are the perfect person. Never you think you know it all. You must have at least one person that will be able to keep your faith. So Moses cried out. And Moses said to them, Fear not! For the Egyptians that marched after them, he said, Fear not! The Egyptians that you see today, verse 14, you will see them no more. He said, I know you are seeing them coming, but this is the last time you will see their us and the rider march towards you. Wow. And the Bible says, suddenly they began to march forward. Forward. You must have someone you can talk to. Somebody of like mind. Somebody who think and reason the way you reason. It is not everything you share with bestie. The only bestie you can have is Christ. If you don't want to cry forever, <coughs> just locate the right one. Have them when it comes to commerce, it's Uguna. When it comes to tech, it's Victor. Uh -huh. When it comes to spiritual prayer points, it's Uchech. If you can't someone who is strengthening your faith. There are people good, plenty good proposers are dead because of one just one wrong advice. Guy, you don't do this kind of business in your father's house. Leave it. Let it go. It is risky not to take a risk. To forcefully advance. Don't be around those who instill fear in you. Take note of that. You must find someone whose faith can keep your faith. Now, there was a story in the case of Mary and Elizabeth. Both of them were in-laws. Both of them were wives. But the strength of one was a confirmation of what the other was thinking. The Bible gave us an understanding in Luke chapter 1, verse 39. Luke chapter 1, verse 39, we read 2 to 45. The Bible says, And now Mary rose in those days and went into the hill country. With haste she went into a city of Judah. And the Bible says, and she entered into the house of Zechariah. And what happened? She saluted Elizabeth. As soon as she greeted Elizabeth, something happened. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the baby in her womb leaped, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Why? Wow. There was a strong connection instantly. Elizabeth was in the bedroom. She was still by the door knocking and heard her voice. By the hearing of the voice, there was a strong Holy Ghost conviction. The baby ministered to Elizabeth. The baby began to pass a divine instruction and she was speaking by the Holy Ghost. Stay on the scripture. The Bible says, and she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are thou, Mary, among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Verse 43. And when is, is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Suddenly, she is addressing Mary as the mother of our Lord. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought she was carrying a special child. The Bible gave the prophecy even before the encounter of Mary. 
even before Mary was betrothed. The Bible gave account about, he said, Bible said the, the wisdom that John the Baptist will carry, that no man has it in comparison. And the Bible said he will eat locust and honey bee. It, it was strange. Everything about him was strange. The instructions was detailed. But yet, there was somebody coming whose nature is to keep another person's faith up. Don't forget at the earlier stage of the scripture, there had been a battle, an encounter, a spiritual warfare between Mary and the angel of the Lord. You are coming with a great child. You are with a great child. And all Mary needed was another confirmation. This time not from an angel. But this time was from the same being like her. In verse 43 she said, When is this comet? Said the mother of my Lord. That it should come to me. Verse 44. Verse 44. For lo, as soon as the voice of the salutation sounded in my ears, the baby leaped in my womb for joy. And then she said what? For blessed is what? She that believed what she was hearing in her own bedchamber. Are you following me right now? Somebody's faith. You need to be around the person who can keep your faith. Be around the person who can keep your faith much more than the glory. Look for this. Much more than you pursue the wealth ahead of you. Pursue this. Such men are rare to find. And they don't have to be in the same city with you. They don't have to be the one you party together every day with. No. It can just be that wonderful sister, spiritual sister, spiritual brother, when you were in secondary school, who you knew by all things is still deeply connected to God. It can just be that Sunday school teacher that you have forgotten many years ago. Just locate somebody who can keep your feet. Forceful advancement is not cheap talk. It is an act, a deliberate act of decisions. Decisions, not one. You must decide to move forward. Lord, who will help me move forward? You must decide to go up. Lord, who will encourage me for the top? You must decide to secure ways. Lord, thou made known thy way unto Moses and your acts to the children of Israel. You must position yourself rightly, saying to God, speak to me. Speak to me. You must get to a point in your life where you know that by the time you open the door, and you are receiving a call from Bolaji, Bolaji will be giving you the same confirmation of what God just told you. Are you following me right now? You must grow up. If you can't find it among your friends, you don't have a friend yet. If among all of them, you can't find one who can help keep your faith. When everybody will say to you, you are horrible, You've taken wrong step. You are the worst. You are not a child of God. You, there must be one person who will not condemn you, even in your wrongs. Who will come as a strength to you. Say, I know, my dear, you messed up. I know you did the worst. But listen. Listen. Count it all joy when you fall into diverse trials and temptation. Somebody who can still see your temptation and trials as an instrument of joy. Who can tell you heaven has, not for, heaven has not forgotten you? Heaven has not abandoned you? Who can give you a reason to move forward? Somebody who can help you keep your faith. Somebody who can tell you, I know you shit for church. I know you messed up. I know you are the talk of the town. But son, your vision is bigger than your mess. You need the person that will help you keep your feet. Stand on your feet. Somebody say, Lord, order my steps. 
all the master in your world, dear Lord. Every day, fall of my prayer, all the master in your world. Oh, all the master. Let's take it one more time. Oh, all the master in your world, dear Lord. Keep me, guide me every day. Send your anointing, Father. I pray. All the master in your world. Please, all the master in your word. Hallelujah. Now listen, listen. Wisdom is principal. Is there anyone that lack wisdom? The Bible says, let him ask. I want you to pray tonight. Lord, give me wisdom to advance. Lord, give me wisdom to advance. Holy Ghost, give me wisdom to advance. Ancient of days, give me wisdom to advance. Lord Jesus, give me wisdom to advance. My Lord and my God, give me wisdom to advance. Open your mouth and pray. Just not good. Give me wisdom to advance, my Lord and my God. Give me wisdom to advance, <coughs> Holy Ghost. <coughs> Give me wisdom to advance. I want to advance. Speak to my heart. Give me that which is principal. Your wisdom is divine instruction to my soul. Lord, give me wisdom. Teach me what to do always. Holy Ghost, teach me what to do always. Ancient of days, teach me what to do always. My Lord and my God, speak to my heart. Make me wise. Lord, make, are you praying at all? Or you came to church to watch? Lord, make me wise. Teach me, Lord, what to do. Lord, order my steps. Direct my path. Help me do what is right. Lord, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. King of glory, help me. Ancient of days, help me. Help me do what is right. Lord, show me the path of life. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Lord, by wisdom, teach me humility. By wisdom, teach me humility. Teach me, Lord, how to follow instruction. Oh, God of heaven, teach me to know what I don't know. Teach me to do what I can't do. Holy Ghost, by your wisdom, Lord, teach me how to break new frontiers, how to initiate a new order. Lord, speak to me. Make me wise. Make me wise. Oh, God of heaven, make me wise. Make me wise. To have wisdom is to have Christ. 
I need you, Jesus. In Jesus' mightiest name, we have prayed. I told you, I said, you need somebody who will help you keep fit. When I was coming to Abuja, there's a renowned prophet of God in the city of Ibadan. After God has spoken to me, I went to meet him. I said, pray for me, sir. And I told him, the Lord had told me to go to Abuja. He told me that in less than two years, I will return back home. And it will be extremely horrible. Because nothing will speak. There is no way in Abuja. I left and I went to another father of faith, Bishop Waluki. And I told him, sir, the Lord... I said, me top, they say, son, go and imagine a succeeding sources. Yeah. That word followed me. Every time I'm to handle any project, I just keep hearing the words of the one keeping me in faith. Son, you are a succeeding sources. About a few years ago, the first prophet I met, you know, reached out to me needing help. And then I told him there is no help in Abuja. Are you following me right now? Receive grace to identify the right person around you. Lord, baptize me with spiritual discernment to identify the one that will be my strength. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, baptize me with spiritual consciousness to identify the one that will be my strength. Oh God of heaven, baptize me, Lord, with the sounding of the Spirit to identify the one that will keep me in faith. Strengthen me in faith. Lord, show me the right ones around me. Show me the right people around me. Holy Ghost, show me. Lord, show me. Lord, show me. Holy Ghost, show me. Show me, Lord. Jesus, show me. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. That helper. That will take me by the end to greatness. Lord, show me. Holy Ghost, show me. That good teacher. That instructor. That one that will show me what to do rightly. Lord, show me. Holy Ghost, show me. The one who will be an advisor. Your voice in my life. Show me. Oh God. A brother like God by my side. Lord, show me. A son like God by my side. A sister like God by my side. A son like God by my side. A daughter like God by my side. Lord, show me. Holy Ghost, show me. King of glory, show me. A key parata, the rose, the core, the root of paratike, in Zusata, the kilos, the praantaki. I can't run my race alone. I can't do it alone. Holy Ghost, the one that will be strength. Lord, show me, show me, show me. The one that will help me keep my faith. Show me, Lord. Show me. Holy Ghost, bring me in the company. Lord, bring me. Akin suata yades. Elu soto barati kabarata. Beke, come on, pray, come on, pray. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. You can't move forward alone. Yasuko Lofra Anta Parat. In Jesus' mightiest name, we have prayed. I want to pray with you now. I just need resounding aim. There is nothing you are looking for that someone has not passed through. There's nothing you're looking for someone has not handled. Are you following me right now? At every phase of my life, God had to plan man. 
the gift of man. I speak over your life now. May God grant you access to good men. The voice of advancement, the instrument of advancement is the gift of men. May the God of heaven grant you access to good men. I'm speaking to the one with the loudest voice. Your struggling days are over. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your struggling days are over. Hear me and hear me well. You begin to enjoy the best of God in your home. You begin to enjoy the best of God in your family. Oh, Asuta, Ayakima, Lafraanta, Basic Endo, Ilafraanti Kepei, Kalanzuko, Loprotoba, the one that will stand by your side like God, the one that will be of good strength to you like Christ. I decree right now, may God cause your path to meet. The one that will be a good strength making money available the one that will be a huge strength encouraging you on every side the one that will teach you the precept the law of god that will help you stay in christ may god cause your path to cross yeah. Right now, your heaven remain perpetually open. 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 Your heaven remain perpetually open again and again Uh, again and again your heaven remain perpetually open by the wisdom of God coming on you you will advance by the wisdom of God coming on you you will know what to do by the wisdom of God coming on you everything will work for you your time is now 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 now. everywhere you stand henceforth kings will identify you everywhere you stand henceforth because of the wisdom of God on your life kings will identify you the noble will locate you your place is among the top your place is among the bright your place is among the best it shall be well with you give God all the praise amen God bless you please take your seat your better days are here someone say it three times it is forceful advancement it is forceful advancement and it is Let's package our offering, a tie.